What's going on YouTube? Today I got a Google Business Profile SEO tutorial for you that works great in 2022 and moving forward. A lot of the strategies that I'm going to be showing you today are a lot of the things that we do here day in and out in our agency. And we do these strategies with a lot of our clients and it gets great results. Um, so basically, as you know, any local business is highly benefited from a Google business profile that ranks for their different target keywords. That's really what's going to generate phone calls, leads, and customers. So a lot of these strategies are revolved around a GMB or Google business profile as it's called now, um, but it also works great for local SEO and organic rankings. Um, so basically this is a quick overview of what I'm going to be covering and I'm going to be diving into some topics specific um, more than others. Um, but first, I want to show you some of the um, actual results we've been able to generate by utilizing um, some of these uh, strategies, right? So if we go over to Local Falcon, uh, we can take a look at one of the geogrids that we have here. Um, and this was for the keyword electrician, right? Estevis Electric, which is a uh, electrical company out of Allentown, PA. Uh, shout out to Christopher over there. Um, hit him up for any electrical work. But anyways... Uh, Stevis Electric, the keyword is electrician. Um, and this was back in October. And then same keyword, electrician. This was here in December. Um, so about a week ago, we got this report. And obviously, you can see um, a great improvement in terms of his rankings um, all around, right? Um, so that's one keyword. And then electrician, Allentown. So this was what it looked like. Um, kind of when he started with us, um, or at least that first month in October 25th, electrician Allentown was a key word. And then you can see here, um, this was November 20th. Um, so about a month after, um, same keyword, right? Electrician Allentown, you can definitely see a improvement there in terms of the rankings. And then that same keyword um, this month, right? Today, December 14th same keyword you can see it continued to increase right so this was back in october um, and this was this month right so i'm trying to prove a point that these strategies aren't just coming out of nowhere but that they're actually producing results um, and that's why it's so important that you guys follow along and not only listen to these strategies but also apply them to your own local business or for some of your clients um, so let's get right into the video, guys. Um, so this is a quick overview of some of the things I want to cover, right? So here you have your main money site. So this is going to be your main website. Whatever your main website is, is basically the hub for the entire strategy. And this is why whenever someone comes to me and says, can you just work on our Google My Business? Or can you just work on our website and get us to rankings? I tell them no. And I turn them down. Um, because I will not bring on a client if we cannot work on both the money site and the Google My Business at the same time, because it's very important, at least in the way that we conduct our campaigns. So everything starts with the money site. Obviously, you want to make sure that the money site is optimized properly um, for the, you know, your main keywords or your main categories. So whatever your main category on your Google My Business is, you want to make sure that you have that within your header one, your title tag, and throughout the content of the of the actual homepage, right? Now, you're gonna have your homepage, but then you're also going to have the service pages within the same money website. So these services are going to be the services that you offer. Uh, for an example, my client, he's a electrician. So if we go to his website, um, and we go under services, you can see the services that we have, um, electrical repair, lighting installation, house rewiring, electrical panel replacement. So each one of these pages um, would be these that I have here, right? This is just an example. Obviously, if you have more services, that's great. You wanna make as many of these service pages as you can, because not only are you going to be able to rank um, for more keywords organically, but it's also going to trigger the map pack and allow you to rank higher in that specific uh, search query, right? 
And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. But basically, each of these service pages um, is going to have a target keyword. So this specific service page here um, has what we call a silo, or we're just siloing out um, two blog posts. And then we also want to have the category included within those blog posts of that specific keyword. And I'm going to show you an example. So for this uh, page right here, we're going to call this um, electrical repair, right? That's one of our uh, services. Let me see if I can fix that font there. Let me just bold it. All right, so electrical repair would be our service page, right? Um, and then under that, we want to have at least two blog posts that are going to be linking to that specific service page. And why do we need this? Because it's going to boost that relevancy of that specific service page. Because if you just have a service page sitting by itself, right, and it's a brand new website, it's not going to get anywhere. We have to push that page up. We have to boost that relevancy um, in the eyes of Google. We need to boost that authority. And that's why we need to have these sub pages. In this case, it's a blog post. Um, and not just a blog post, but we also want to optimize it for this specific keyword. And I'm going to show you how we did that. So if we go over to blog section, let's go to the blog. Um, you can see we have uh, these specific blog posts here about keywords related to his industry. So if you check out this tag right here, it says electrical repair. Now this is the category that we have this specific blog post under. A lot of companies don't utilize this technique. Um, and basically this is just categorizing your blog posts for that specific topic. So each blog post essentially could have its own uh, topic. And that's kind of, you want to kind of create a cluster of, of uh, subtopics, right? So for an example, this blog post here is about electrical repair. Um, and here we have another one about electrical repair. So basically these two blog posts are what we want to use in this example right here. So one of our blog posts is going to be linking to our main service page. And then our second blog post is going to be linking to our first blog post, right? And I'm going to show you that right now. So this blog post right here, how much do electrical repairs cost, right? Um, and then we go into the content here, um, very nicely written. Um, but the main thing you want to do here is so this blog post is this box right here. Now, what we want to do is we want to link to that service page, but we also want to link to our GMB with this specific keyword, electrical repair, because this is going to allow us to show up in that map pack for electrical repair city, right? And that's going to be our main goal. And that's actually what we did with the client. So if we do electrical repair, his city, you can see he actually ranks here, number one. Um, and that's going to be because of some of the strategies that I'm going to cover um, in this video. So if you guys are following along, we have a service page, two blog posts, and then at the very bottom, we have a GMB post. Each blog uh, post, should be linking to the GMB. And then each blog post should also have the specific category that we want to rank for. So if we go back here into WordPress, you can see we have electrical repair in the URL because that's the category that we chose. And you can do this very easy using WordPress. Um, if we go into edit post, This is where we can find how to add a category. Now, this strategy is going to work better if it's a new website, because if, you're a, if your website is older and you already have a lot of blog posts, adding categories is going to change the URL structure. And if you're already ranking for specific um, keywords with the blog posts, you don't want to mess with the URL structure um, unless you do 301 redirects. But 
um, it might just make a mess. So this is more so better for newer websites that are just starting out. Um, that way you don't have any technical issues later down the road. Uh, but if you look at this right hand side, you see the permalink and then categories. So in the category section, this is where we want to include that main keyword. Um, for, for this example, our main keyword is electrical repair um, because we have a service page about electrical repair. So we want to create that silo with these blog posts. So we added electrical repair. Um, if you need to add, you just click add new category and then you just put the name in there and click add new category and then just make sure it's checked. Um, but once it's checked, in order to make sure that um, the category shows up in the actual URL, if you're using WordPress, um, let me show you how you can actually do that. You want to go over to uh, settings, go to permalinks, and where it says custom structure, whatever is in here, go ahead and delete it. And then you want to click on category and then post name. And this is going to allow for your URL structure to show the category and the post name of the blog post, right? So it gets indexed correctly. And then make sure you save the changes. And now you should be able to see the category in the URL structure whenever you create a new blog post. So let's take a look at this blog post, right? In this blog post, we're linking out to our service page, which is the electrical repair page. And then we are linking out to the home page. And then here we're linking out to our GMB. We, we use the share link. And if you can tell this is the exact match keyword, electrical repair. So go ahead and use the exact match keyword and link it to your GMB. Um, and I like to use the share link. You can also use the CID link um, or the uh, place URL link. So those are the main links that I would use when you link out to your GMB. Um, but for this specific blog post, I just use the share link. So if I just click on this, you can see it just pulls up directly their GMB. And that's what you want to do. And that's really all it is. You want to have your blog posts linking out to your GMB and then linking to your other blog posts in that same silo. And let me show you using the other example. So this is the other blog posts in the same silo electrical repair again we're using that same keyword exact match keyword that we want to rank for linking out to our gmb and then if we scroll down you can see we're linking to the uh, blog posts uh, that's in the silo so if i click on this it's going to take us to the other gmb under the same category and that's what you want to do. You could you could have three, four blog posts, um, but for this specific uh, client, we only needed two. Um, but you can do more. You can do uh, I wouldn't do anything under two, but really depends on how competitive um, the key phrase is. But that's going to allow you to rank um, for a lot other keywords. So that's basically what that means, guys. And then. Finally, down here, you want to have a GMB post. So the GMB post is going to link to your secondary blog post. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So this blog post right here, again, has the exact exact match keyword we want to rank for, electrical repair. Um, why hire a licensed electrician? We have the title of the blog post that we're linking to. Um, and then in the learn more, if we click on that, it's going to take us to this blog post, right? And that's basically all that is. Um, so again, service page, uh, blog, blog, GMB post. They're all linking together. And that's the main point. We want to make sure we send as many signals as we can to our GMB to our website and vice versa. 
And then if we want to power this up even more, you can send a backlink to the secondary blog post that's linking to the first blog post, which is linking to the service page, which is linking to the money site. So you can send backlinks to the blog posts. Um, you can send five, you can send 10, depending on the quality of backlinks that you're getting. Um, but that's basically what it is. Uh, the exact match anchor here, that's really all I was saying is you want to link directly to your GMB using the exact match anchor text. So in this blog post and in this blog post, you want to be linking uh, using electrical repair to the GMB. And that's uh, right here. Let me show you. See that electrical repair? That's what I mean by exact match anchor text. So that pretty much covers this little silo here, guys. Um, besides that, of course, when you have your GMB, some of the off page things I would recommend is a geo network um, and a press release. So I would do a press release month one, and then month two, you want to do another press release. Um, if you want to learn more about those specific tactics, go watch my previous video where I go a little bit more in depth on, on those. Um, but with the money site, when you start a campaign, you want to make sure you have your social profiles and then um, your local business schema. Um, if you want a place to get local business schema, um, you can go over to legit, um, just search for schema. Um, and then I think it's this guy right here. I would just go ahead and buy his uh, premium package here. Um, so that can take care of your local business schema and you give him your information and he pretty much takes care of everything there but besides that um, the other important places you want to get listed on is bing places apple maps and Waze map and it's really easy to do this just do a google search um, like uh, list my business on apple maps list my business on Waze, and you're going to find the instructions on how to do that so that's kind of a top level overview of the strategy that I had for you guys today, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I know this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys have a great um, holidays, holidays with the family. Hope you guys stay blessed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.